Have you ever wished that you could lay out a scene for Unreal and Maya without having to deal with bulky FBX exports? Now you can, with my UE4 Batch Placer for Maya, by me, Michael Aller. Sometimes it's convenient to lay things out in Maya, whether it's a automated script or whatever, and you just want to be able to take those positions and map them to objects you already have in your project. So, let's go through this little tool that I made here. So let's say we have the six objects here uh, in Maya, and I've already exported these out into Unreal. Uh, pretty simple. Uh, you got my cube, my right, little meshes here, whatever. And these are all ready to go. And I want to generate a structure using a Maya script and be able to take those positions and put them in Unreal without doing like an export of a big FBX and dealing with FBX settings and scenes and whatnot. So first step. Uh, Let's just generate a little scene. So I have a script out here that generates a random scene from these blocks here. Uh, pretty simple. Uh, I didn't make the script. I didn't make these objects. It's a courtesy of Cordell Felix, but really any mesh will do. And there you go. Here's just a random stack of things. Now, the important thing here to note is that each of these have a, has a unique name. This is named Cube. This is named Hollow. This is named Spike. This is named More Hollow. Uh, the idea is that no matter how you create your objects or whatnot, the your in thing that you want to export all needs to have a relatively unique identifying name per asset. This is important because when we open up our batch tool here, we can add some slots. Now there are six meshes here, so I'm going to add six slots. And I'm just going to type in the names of these base meshes. I know every cube mesh in my scene is going to have the word cube in it. So I can go ahead and just type in cube. Here and I know. See what these are. I know every mesh with this instance is going to have the word hollow in it. So, um, or double or twist. So I'll just start adding all these in here. So hollow twist. There's one called more hollow. Um, this one's called double. and spike now you'll notice that there's a sort priority here what's going to do what this tool does is it's going to look for everything you have selected and just find the first unreal mesh path that is assigned to an object that has your maya object name contained in its name meaning if i find a more hollow object in here and hollow is higher on the priority it's going to just stop at hollow and use that. So we're going to move the more hollow up to above hollow. So it's going to search for this first before searching for hollow. Uh, and then uh, everything else is fine. So that's one thing to keep note here is that it just does it from first down by this priority. And you can always add or remove export slots anytime you like. Now I want to map the Unreal meshes to these my objects. So for this cube here, I want to open up uh, Unreal and I'm going to right click my cube asset that I want to use and I'll hit copy reference and then I'll hit paste in here and I'll go ahead and do that with the rest of these now this is still a little manual but uh, this is a one-time setup because the batch plugin here or script for Maya automatically saves all these details so once we have these set we'll never have to do this again do, 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 do. and we have our spike you notice that uh, some of these things are co named completely different, such as more hollow is named legs in Unreal. does not matter. As long as you have a mapping between what your Maya object is and what your Unreal object is, that's fine. Now with that, we can go back to Maya here. And this will export whatever you have selected. So I'll go ahead and just grab all these objects here. And you notice they all got different translations and whatnot and whatever. But I'm going to hit export selected to clipboard for pasting in Unreligion 4. That button could probably be smaller. But uh, go ahead and click that. And it won't appear that anything has happened. But if you go to Unreal and you hit paste, you will see all your meshes appear. It might take a while depending on the number of meshes. But these are all set to the exact same uh, world position that you have in, whatever, in Maya, wherever that's set to. Um, so, yeah, 
that's uh that's pretty cool now you'll see in my unreal it says 2.56 meters but in maya these are well these are actually two two thousand five hundred sixty regular base units uh which you'll see if i click one of these here these are about the same size units here so yeah great so that's uh that's working fine and uh one thing to note is that uh scale and rotations also also works in the export process so i'll go ahead and undo and get rid of all these here and then i'll in maya i will open up or i'll take this object over here and i will scale this thing pretty big and i'll take uh this here i'll scale it down the corner i'll take this twisting thing and i'll rot scale and rotate it uh, about 60 degrees and then Again, I'll select all this and I'll hit my batch tool. I'll hit export and then I will hit paste in Unreal. And again, this takes a second to load, but you'll see that my scaling, my rotating uh, transforms all line up just as, uh, just as you'd expect them to. And no issues whatsoever. So that's uh that's pretty neat. Currently this only works for uh 2015, but um we'll add so I'll start to add support for other stuff and not included in the script, but also a fun thing to know is if you're also using my productivity plugin for Unreal 4, you can select all these meshes here that you just brought in and right now these are 925 static meshes. That's very unoptimized. You don't you don't want that. What you can do is you can hit the statics to instance button and because we only use six meshes here uh, this will convert everything to just six instanced meshes as you can hear we've got six instance mesh wrappers and these are now six objects that's it uh, now there's an issue uh, on my end where if I drag select in the viewport I don't actually select everything in there but uh, for example all these back facing things are not selected. I believe that's a setting here somewhere. Uh, I don't know, but uh, yeah, whatever you have selected will it'll convert just fine. So, for example, all the objects I selected here that were uh, that were converted. Here's my converted set. Um, now, the instance mesh wrapper you can't actually move it because these instance mesh transforms are located in a different space. But yeah, we can toggle this on and off do whatever you want with that but that's not again not part of the script that's just something else entirely so select everything and hit delete and as you can see I have some setting on where I can't select things behind other things <laughs> kind of annoying but again I'm just digressing that's not the point of this video the point is the batch video so if I go ahead and close this window and reload it all my settings are the same if I close Maya and reload Maya all my settings are still the same and uh... come on do 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 loaded up Maya and if you open up my batch window again here you go, all your settings are stored so you only have to do this setup process once and as long as you keep your asset names the same your settings will always stay so there's that Cheers, y'all.